Welcome back to the Core Cars News Tech Lab. Today we're going to be taking a look at 10 100% free ad supported streaming services, or at least they offer 100% free ad supported streaming content, even though there's a paid tier. Now, increasingly, we've heard from you, our readers, in our recent survey that almost half of you are cutting back on your paid services and are canceling or considering canceling a paid service. Many of you said you're switching to use more free ad supported streaming services. We're going to be taking a look at 10 ones I recommend you should check out for the month of August 2023. Now, this is my opinion. If you have a free service you want to recommend, leave me a comment and let me know. But one of the best ways you can save money in core cutting is to take advantage of these services. Not completely eliminate paid services, but maybe rotate them. For example, if there's a new big show on a service like Paramount Plus, Peacock, or Max, maybe you subscribe to a month of it, binge watch a ton of the stuff, watch the, the show you want, and then cancel it. And you can use free services like this to expand your library. So we're going to dive in here, give you my top 10. You leave me a comment, let me know what legal services you would recommend people check out. Before we do that though, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping us grow, helping us support our families here, and hopefully helping you break free from the high costs of cable TV. So with that said, let's dive into it. I'm showing this off um, here on my Roku. Starting off with, if you're on Roku and you're talking about free services, the Roku channel is probably where you should start. This is Roku's ad supported streaming services. Here, huge collection of both on-demand and live content here. You can go in the channel guide to see a absolutely massive catalog of on-demand and live television programs here. So you can see tons of news, hundreds, hundreds of live channels here, lots of news with this, but then they also have a lot more with it. They have news, entertainment, reality television show, dramas, and more. Oh, let's not get any copyright complaints with that. So check it out, lots of great stuff here. And you can see even um, some over there channels like Ion Air here, you get um, news from NBC, Fox, CBS, and more, 24 seven family feud, weather content, AccuWeather weather, game show networks, Major League Baseball. Now this isn't the Major League Baseball network, but it is a bunch of stuff here. Same with the NFL channel, not the NFL network, but a bunch of content from the NFL. And then they do have something that a lot of other free services don't have, and that's original content. New Weird Al Yankovic's uh, movie? I just butchered that, I apologize. Uh, but they have all kinds of original programming here you will only find on the Roku channel. And then a lot of uh, additional on-demand content here. You got a whole medical row with a ton of different medical dramas. You got um, music docs, ACDC here, Johnny Cash. Look at all these great, the Rolling Stones, Cher. You have a uh, whole section for leaving soon, always rotating content. Originals, here we go. Reno 911 defunded. Uh, you have all kinds, look at this. Emerald uh, tailgates, cooking show and more, tons of really great original content. They also have a ton of sports content. I could go on and on, but I'm not gonna go, uh, drag this out any longer. The Roku channel, tons of free content there. Again, if you haven't been checking out these free services, you think of them as a bunch of old B-roll movies, you're not up to date on what these free ad supported services are like now. All right, we went from Roku. Let's go check out Amazon's one. Yes, Amazon service is on Roku, and Roku is on Amazon, the Roku channel. But again, they also have original series, a lot of courtroom dramas recently, including the new Judge Judy show, Judy Justice, the only place you can watch new ones of hers. Although I think I've heard that reruns of this show is coming to over the air in some markets, but the new ones go here first. Tons of content here. Murder, She Wrote, Season 1, Perry Mason, Hogan Heroes, uh, all kinds of new and classic programming here, including a ton of Amazon originals. Now, Amazon's been putting a lot of their older originals here, including Dr. Seuss Baking Challenge, um, Bosch, The Wheel of Time, all kinds of stuff. Uh, the Grand Tour, really nice uh, lineup of Amazon originals here, and then more. Now, they do have a ton of on-demand movies and television shows, but they also have live programming like so many others with this. So it's a really nice uh, lineup here. If you haven't checked out Amazon, again, you probably, I've heard this before, hey, all those free streaming services are the same. No, they're not. Roku Channel and Amazon Freebie both have original content that airs nowhere else. All these services have something original to them and more.
Now let's check out Tubi. Now Tubi is owned by Fox, it's um, Fox Broadcast Networks. It gives it a huge catalog of current Fox programming for free streaming and it airs your local Fox affiliates for free here from the local news. Now not national Fox news, this is local news, but tons of content here and hundreds of on demand. Now you can see here, recommend channels, come on, there we go. Here you go, more live, but my local Fox, NBC, Ion, some repeats here, but some that are not repeats. For example, the local news. And then all kinds of on-demand categories here. Look at this, the Lego movie, Scooby-Doo, Where Are You, Pikachu, all kinds of great content. Gilgan's Island is in here, so all kinds of stuff. I often hear from people like, hey, I love Gilkins Island and I would happily watch it as a background show as I'm maybe doing some work, answering emails, cleaning my house, just whatever. I'm not buying a season of Gilkins Island. I'm happy to watch it with ads and that's the real selling point there. So let's keep moving along. Crunchyroll. If you love anime, you really should check out Crunchyroll. Now you're probably saying, Luke, this is a subscription service. You are right. They do have a subscription ad free one, but they also have 100% free ad supported content but the catalog's a lot lower, rotates it often, and you can really dive into a ton of supported content here with this. Now again, um, with this, it mostly is paid content. If you're logged out fully, you will be able to see all the um, ad supported content, but keep in mind there, it does have a nice selection that rotates every month. If you like it and you wanna get it ad free or you want a bigger selection of content, that one is money. If you want free and ad free, there's a number of streaming services that partner with your local library, Canopy, Hoopla Digital, and more. Check your local library. Not only is it they often offer streaming services, but they also often have DVDs and more you can check out for free to get free ad supported streaming. Really great way to do that. Highly recommend you talk to your local library and see what they have to offer. Now, Campley Hoopla Digital More has free movies, television shows, documentaries, and the like, ad-free. They also have things like audiobooks, e-books, and more. I love getting my audiobooks through there for free. Check it out. So talk to your local library, see what they have to offer. Varies depending on where you live. Your taxpayer dollars are supporting it. Why not take advantage of it? All right, FilmRise um, markets himself as one of the largest catalogs of on-demand movies and television shows. They have a very simple... Um, a user interface here. Let's jump into the television section here. You see huge collection, World Dumbest Police videos, Hell's Kitchen, um, Silent Witness, all kinds of BBC content with this, lots of BBC content on Film Rise and more. Really huge collection. They all have something different. This one definitely seems to be a lot more focused on older content. The Lone Ranger, Dick Van Dyke Show, Beverly Hillbillies, uh, Batgirl, the Real McCoys, I haven't, I haven't even thought about that show in I don't know how long. When's the last time you heard that name? So all kinds of different stuff, but a lot of BBC content here also for free with this. Again, there is so many 100% free streaming services out there. Why limit yourself to just one or two? Take advantage of all of them. All right, let's dive into next up with Pluto TV. Now, Pluto TV recently when we polled our readers was the most popular and they said the best free streaming service for cord cutters. Is that true? I don't know. You leave me a comment, let me know um, with it. I'd love to hear from you. For a moment there, I thought it froze, but it didn't. It just took a second to load. But let's not, uh, come on, jump into, there we go. Come on. I don't want to get any copyright complaints. So I jump in front of that. Huge amount of content here. What I really do like is they do have the ability, for example, to break it out into content. Um, for example, here's a kids section. Look at this, Nick Jr., uh, Dora, 24-7, Little Stars, all kinds of Nickelodeon stuff. Now this is owned by Paramount, so it's probably no surprise that, but you have Transformers TV, Lego TV, Kid Movie Club, and more. Just check out all that stuff there. But let's jump into some of the featured content uh, with this. You have action movies, comedies, dramas, all kinds of stuff all in here you can pick from. You have dedicated sections for entertainment, news and opinion. Hey, you don't need a paid cable service to watch news. You can watch it all here for free on services like Pluto TV and more. Since this is owned by Paramount, of course they have tons of CBS news, but they also have a ton of news from other news organizations. I really do love the Pluto TV app. 
And I love how it organizes in categories, news, drama, and more all in one spot. Easy to find. All right, Zoom will play. Now this one is owned by Comcast, NBC Universal, parent company Comcast. Now they offer a ton of um, NBC Universal content. Uh, and I just hit the power button. I am so sorry. Let's jump back into that. Let's see if it will, there we go. Let's try this again. All right, Zoom will play. I apologize, I hit that button. Uh, has a ton of NBC Universal content. It's a really great option if you're looking for a variety. Like I said, these, all these services have something a little bit different. They will often have similar channels, but then they will also often have a, a bunch of original content. Pluto TV owned by Paramount, Tubi owned by Fox, Zumo owned by NBC Universal. Understandably, they'll have a lot of content from there. But you can see tons of Hallmark movies and more, Dateline, Zumo movies, uh, Mystery Ion, all kinds of content. UFC, a 24 seven channel declared to that, bunch of news channels with this um, from every perspective you could ever want. Bunch of weather channels, look, Fox Weather, Weather Spy, the Weather Channel in Espanol. Uh, I just butchered that, why did I even say that? Um, I apologize, I never took Spanish. I saw so my sincere apologies with that. But then tons of movies, content, and more. Again, Fox owns Tubi, so a lot of Fox content is up there. Paramount owns Pluto TV, Paramount content ends up there. And then Zumo is owned by Comcast, so a lot of their content. Local now, from the parent company behind the Weather Channel, has actually the most, on average, uh, on uh, channels for you. Now, very slightly because they have some that are specific to local areas. For example, PBS has been rolling out here. By the end of the year, they hope to have most markets with PBS available streaming for free through local now. Um, all right, let's not get any, there we go. But they also have tons of on-demand movies. So again, though, um, it does geo-restrict you. For example, you can't access a California PBS if you live in Michigan and people in California can't watch my local PBS. Their deal only allows them to show that in specific markets. Um, and there's a growing number. They have a lot of local news, local weather. If you think of local now, when it first launched, it just aired a loop of local news and local weather. It still does that, but now it offers a lot more with it. And lastly, Plex. Now Plex used to be, a, and still is a media server software that allows you to stream content from your computer to here. Quite a few years ago, I digitalized all of our old family VHS tapes and put them on Plex so everybody could access them. But they also recently launched an on-demand and live TV streaming service and a huge catalog with more and more content being added. BBC Mysteries, the live channel, CAI, CSI Miami 24-7, Price is Right, Bob Barker era, and more. Just an absolute huge collection of movies and television shows. Hey, here's another one. I may not be willing to pay for chips, but hey, it's my childhood right here, folks. I remember watching this all the time, home from school. Anybody remember watching that? Seems like it was always on TNT back in the day. But 100% free with ads here. Just absolutely tons of content. All right, so quick recap real quick here we'll break down the top 10 one more time with this you have the roku channel freebie for um tubi crunchyroll again paid but also with a free category here canopy uh, check your local library see what service they offer for free film rise pluto tv zumo local now and plex you won't go wrong with any of these but I would love to know what your favorites are, what you would recommend. Is there any good content right now that you think people should check out on these services? A lot of them do offer similar content, but they all seem to have their own little exclusive deals. For example, Tubi's owned by Fox, Pluto TV by Paramount, Zumo by uh, NBC Universal. Of course, they have a little bit of an edge in those kind of content there. So that's it for today. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll be back real soon with another video.